Hi everyone and once again welcome to Brown Bean Crazy. Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel and share with any other coffee enthusiasts you might know. In this episode we're going to be reviewing two different coffee capsules, both by Nespresso. The first one being the Inspirazioni Palermo Cazar capsule. According to Nespresso, this is a dark and long roast and it contains a Robusta and Arabica blend which also shares its influence from the Arab and African origins. So in this, in this review of this capsule, we're not going to be requiring malt, so we will not require the frother as well. So we're just going to pop open the, the cap and insert, insert our Kazar capsule. So according to Nespresso, this actually has an intensity of 12 and they recommend that you either have it as a 25 ml Rosetto or a 40 ml Espresso, which in this case, we're going to have a 40 ml Espresso. Immediately as we click the button and our Espresso starts coming out from the front, we notice that it is quite a syrupy Espresso. But we will do a further review once we do a taste test. So as soon as we remove this our espresso cup, we actually notice that it's actually a very, very bitter and peppery scent that you re that you receive, which highlights the bitter and peppery notes from the capsule itself. And upon tasting the espresso, we notice that there's a low acidity, and it's actually quite thick and syrupy. My personal view on this particular capsule, the Nespresso Kazar capsule, is that it's not one that you would have on a regular basis. That is obviously my opinion and many might differ with me. Um, I prefer a capsule or a coffee that you can actually taste the origin, you can taste the coffee itself. Whereas in this it's very very bitter you notice that it's a very bitter espresso and it's something you would probably use on a long day ahead of you. Now on to our second capsule review. Uh, we are going to be now be reviewing the Nespresso Capriccio capsule which is actually something I enjoy on a regular basis. This is something which I find perfect for a daily coffee and also recommend on many levels. It's not something that's too strong, neither is it something that's too light. So let's get on to the review and pop the capsule in. So Nespresso actually recommends that you drink it either or consume it either as espresso or as an espresso and you froth and add milk after which I will be doing in this review so the according to Nespresso this is a very large shot, which produces a rich and unique profile which I would definitely agree There we have our 40 ml espresso and now we will be frothing our milk and adding it into our espresso to give it the perfect ratio. So on previous occasions when I've consumed this coffee, I've actually noted it's a very light acidity level and very unique but also something that you can consume on a daily basis its intensity is I'd say somewhere around the five to six mark and 
there we have it our espresso with the perfect amount of milk froth into it and further on once you taste it you'll actually notice it has a very rich and distinctive aroma as well um, and it's also a very balanced cup of coffee Nespresso also says that you get the light acidity and fine aroma with savory cereal notes which I don't really get the savory cereal notes but I do note the light acidity and the aroma is actually quite fine it's actually perfect for a daily for a daily blend if you're using an espresso machine and once again thank you so much for watching our video please like subscribe and share our videos to any other coffee enthusiasts and watch out for any other future videos please click the bell icon if you'd like to be watching any of our future videos as well thanks for watching we also hope you enjoyed watching our videos as much as we did making it and look out for any other future videos coming soon